The Great Spruce by John Duvall, illustrated by Rebecca Gibbon. Alec loved to climb trees. He climbed all the trees in town, the little apple trees, the wide willow trees, even the tall locust trees. But the tree he liked to climb the most was the great spruce. It was the most magical of all the trees, tall and strong and spreading ever upward. His grandpa told him many times the story of the year he transplanted the tree, a long time before Alec was born. Digging carefully, he moved the little spruce from the shade of the forest floor to a sunny spot where the tree could stretch its arms and reach for the sky. Because his grandpa could no longer climb the tree himself, Alec would race to the very top and tell him all he could see from up there. He imagined scouting from a crow's nest of an old ship, searching for pirates along the river that ran past the city to the sea. Each winter, Alec and his grandpa would decorate the tree. Our tree likes a lot of lights and tinsel, grandpa told Alec. When they were done, their tree shone like a Christmas tree lighthouse. One day, Alec was collecting spruce cones in the upper branches when a few curious men stopped to look at the tree. One of the men knocked on Alec's front door. When Alec's parents appeared, the men asked if they could take the great spruce for the Christmas celebration in the city. Alec's parents thought it would be a great honor and agreed, but Alec could not believe what he had heard. His tree would be gone forever. Days later, a crew arrived to remove the tree with a giant chainsaw. Everyone in town came to watch. The man started up and, I mean, the saw started up and it was terribly loud. But Alec was even louder when he screamed, Stop! The tall man turned off the saw. A breeze blew through the branches of the great spruce, whispering a sigh of relief. You don't have to cut this tree down, Alec said. He was shaking and felt so many eyes on him, but he knew he found his grandpa's face in the crowd. But when he found his grandpa's face in the crowd, he knew. We can dig it up. You can borrow the tree instead. Alec's grandpa, with a smile as bright as any star, grabbed two shovels and handed one to Alec. Before long, everyone was digging, even the crew from the city. They began to dig a circle around the tree. When they finished digging, they wrapped the tree's huge root ball with burlap and a big, thick rope. The city sent a tugboat with a mighty crane to lift the tree from the earth and hoist it onto the boat. The crew asked Alec if he would like to join them on the voyage down the river to the city. Can my grandpa come too? Alec asked. And so they set off down the dark and beautiful river as the townspeople and his parents cheered from the dock. Alec held his grandpa's hand as they sat, bundled up and excited alongside the great spruce. huge. Look at it. When the tugboat pulled up to the city dock, the crane placed the tree in the bed of a giant sleigh, which was waiting with a team of horses to take the great spruce on the last leg of its journey. Ah. Up close, the city smelled like smoke and wind blew through the tall buildings. Car horns honked. A woman laughed and Alec and his grandpa and the great spruce moved slowly through the streets among cheers and songs from happy faces. They arrived at the city square and a team of men and women helped move the great spruce 
into a special place at the center of the square. Alec and his grandpa drank hot chocolate and waited as the officials, his parents, and face after familiar face from home arrived at the square, gathering around the great spruce. Finally, an official, tall and dressed in a fancy suit, announced to all gathered, This is our young friend Alec, who is lending us his tree for the holiday. Please help me thank him as he throws the switch. The crowd cried out in joy at the sight of the magnificent spruce and its many colored lights. It smelled like Christmas and a hush fell over the city for just a minute. Suddenly a young girl atop her father's shoulder shouted, it's the most wonderful tree in the world. Can it stay here forever? We're just visiting, said Alec, but here, take this cone. It has seeds inside. Plant them in good soil with lots of light and don't forget to water them. After the holidays, the great spruce returned home to the earth. Alec gave it plenty of water and by the spring, the tree had grown even taller. Alec could see a bit farther down the river if he looked hard enough through his telescope. He could just make out the tiny sapling that took root in the big city square. The end.